It's not every day that a $2,000 diecast comes along, but we figured out pretty quickly that Structo's mega buck, mega rare 1 8 replica of Dean Jeffries' manta ray isn't just any diecast. In late 1963, the manta ray was conceived by Jeffries as an entry for the upcoming 1964 Oakland Roadster Show. Built in three months, the manta ray was a masterpiece of design and construction with a hand-built body, a chassis lifted from a Grand Prix Maserati, and an engine donated by Carroll Shelby himself, who owed Dean a favor for all of the paintwork he'd done on the original Cobra. Comprised of 86 individual pieces of intricately welded aluminum, painted with a specially developed pearl white paint, and topped off with a hand-formed acrylic bubble top, Jeffrey's creation took the show by storm and won the big prize. Structo's 1 8 scale manta ray is a prize for sure, and the giant model is mind-bending in its shape, size, and weight. The car's asymmetrical profile sweeps under a seemingly scale-correct, clear-coated pearl flake that emits micro-rainbows of color under the lights. Though it's big, there's a delicacy to the details, like the cross-drilled metal ribs bracketing the engine opening, and the beautifully replicated manta ray script and styled by Jeffrey's badge below it, which is readable under magnification. We didn't think we'd need a magnifier to appreciate the topside detail on the Cobra 289, but we recommend you bring one along so you don't miss a trick on this one. The four weavers are piped with stainless fuel lines and angled fittings, and the eight chrome throats have chained together tennis balls stuck in them, just as they did at Oakland in 64. The Cobra valve covers look great, and so does the throttle linkage and the Mallory distributor, which is complete to its part number. Farther back, the cockpit is accessible once the bubble top is lifted, and the soft touch vinyl sling, seat, and side mounted dash match every photo we've seen. So does the wild steering wheel, if you can call the Manta Ray's hand formed, two fisted grip of wheel. Though they aren't connected to the steering, the front wheels are poseable, and like the rears, they'll come off the car after loosening the knockoffs to reveal beautifully cast metal Maserati drums, photo etched vents, and braided stainless brake hoses. Though beneath the car and removable panels allow for a good look at the frame, and an even better view of the deeply detailed Cobra V8, the transmission linkages, and the serialized metal plate that will be affixed to each of the only 100 174 models made. Now the detail and features are cool, but the limited production run is what will truly appeal to high-end collectors who like rare and unusual subjects for their displays. We hope so anyway. If this were a truly mass-produced piece designed for the everyday collector, the lockdown suspension and static brake drums which don't spin with the wheels would be a disappointment. But this model isn't any such thing, as the first in what we're told will be a line of large-scale, high-ticket replicas of historically important important show cars, Structo's manta ray breathes truly rare air. For Diecast X Magazine, I'm Joe Kelly Jr. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the shelf.